love pivots because it makes my dad's job easier and he can spend more time with me. In farming and ranching, we use a lot of different technology to help make our jobs easier. And this app is one, and it just shows me all the pivots we have. We can control them on our phone, and whenever a pivot gets stuck, or if they're overwatering or underwatering or don't have enough pressure to run, uh, the app connected to the pivots will send us a message and say that they have low pressure or they're out of alignment, which means they're stuck. And then we just go over there and clean a filter or pull a pivot out and the pivot's back to running again. Pivots compared to flood irrigation. Flood irrigation is with a ditch or you use gated pipe which you just fill a pipe, fill pipe with water and then open a gate on the pipe and it goes into the row. But I would much rather change a flat tire or a gearbox rather than uh, setting tubes and dams every day. <laughs> and, you know, packing gated pipe and the dam canvas and the dirt ditch, or cement ditch. I, I'd much rather walk out and change a gearbox than, than have to do that. Pivots is a big it's a pipe on wheels with a bunch of sprinklers. It waters the field much more evenly. Flood irrigation is, it'll pool up in a low spot in the field and overwater and drown plants out or it'll underwater in a high spot in a field or you can't get water to flow all the way down the field correctly. So that's why pivots are better. And action. 32 pivots that I'm watching on my phone my my hired hand takes care of four of them and i take care of 28 of them myself along with all the other duties that i have on the farm i'm primarily the sprayer guy so that's um, almost an everyday thing i get a huge benefit out of being able to watch them and start and stop them when i see fit. Uh, I feel like with the, the years of experience in growing these crops that I have, I'm the best one suited to make that decision. We do uh, minimum till. We don't plow much anymore. And so it's pretty much all minimum till on the beet ground. So uh, it works out pretty good in the spring. We can just go in there and uh, tear the fields up, uh, put our fertilizer in, and plant into quite a lot of stubble and trash. And uh, most of our ground is pivots now, so we don't have to worry about having really clean corrugates for the water to run down. Uh, in this area, you have to irrigate beets up. Uh, there's a lot of beet areas like the Red River Valley that they depend on mother nature to, and they get enough moisture that they can get their beets up and, and a lot of them don't even irrigate all year. We haven't had much rain this year but we did get some yesterday. We need water to grow beets, a lot of water. Connectivity with FieldNet is extremely important to me. It saves hours of run around time uh, for me to be able to monitor all 28 of the pivots I'm responsible for and it saves critical irrigation hours uh, when a pivot might break down shortly after I'm there to check it uh, this will alert me and let me know so that I can get that pivot back up and running right away so this field is seed alfalfa and over the years we've put in several sprinkler systems uh, in fact i think it's about 20 pivots in 10 years so we put on an average of two pivots a year they're extremely more efficient with uh, as opposed to flood irrigation with a pivot system you 
waste no water. Uh, flood irrigation runs off the edge of the field back to the river. This, every drop is used on the field, so it's much more efficient. We see an increase in production. We see a decrease in labor. When we get our barley off, our malt barley off, we'll replant that into barley for fall feed for the cows. So we're not able to get a lot of our beet ground ready the fall before the next year. Uh, like a lot of farmers can. It also gives us a lot more options in the fall for some crops that come off early. We can uh, reseed for pasture for our cows and then just turn the sprinkler back on versus flood irrigation. Um, it takes a lot of manpower to uh, get the water back across the field again. We are just starting up this pivot first time in the spring. Uh, we're just purging uh, some air out of the whole system. Uh, it's pretty common that the center nozzles that are smaller uh, get plugged up with trash and whatnot. So we gotta go through, I got this handy, sophisticated little tool right here that uh, I, I, uh, I unplug the nozzles with. So I just kink it over like this and I'll I'll uh, hold it like that and then take this off. This is the nozzle. If it's plugged, I'll, I'll stick that in there and tap it out and then, and then put it back together. So just like that. But uh, I think I got a airlock in my pump, so I'm going to have to run back and start the pump, purge the pump, air out of the pump first and then start it back up. So that's a build up of a little bit of trash right there on that nozzle. These nozzles usually last about 10 years. If your water's real dirty and gritty, some people pump water. Ours is all canal gravity flow, but some people that pump water, they get silt that, that washes through the nozzle and um, it wears the nozzle out pretty fast. They're all self-draining. Uh, that dripping right there is the pipe emptying itself out. So every time it shuts off, the pipe empties out. These all uh, gravity flow empty out. And the only thing we do in the wintertime is we pump out the pipelines that are feeding everyone. And, you know, depending on how it's set up, Sometimes we might have to drain a pump. Pretty critical if you forget to do that. It costs you a lot of work in the spring. <laughs> three phase power. Yep, every, it's about three quarter horse. Each, each one of them is. Three phase power is a little more efficient versus single phase. There's been various combinations of different wheels that People have tried the old uh, air in a tire seems to be about the best thing we've found. If we have trouble, you can see that one has three wheels down there. Uh, some of the heavy soil gets kind of mucky and built up on the tire. So in heavier soil fields, we will put triples on those to get fewer pounds per square inch on the ground. We're just starting to have to replace some tires on full system. So they're about 15 to 17 years old. Some of the first ones that we put in and uh, the, the, the rubber just gets weather checked and they start leaking. Most all of our pivots that we've put in lately have been Zomatic pivots. Um, this up here is what links the pivot to my phone. Uh, it, it sends the information to the internet and then I've got an app on my phone. It'll tell me if it shuts down from low pressure, low temperature. It'll tell me where it's at in the field. I can start and stop it with my phone. 
Uh, I can even change end gun setting. In certain areas of the field, we can change application, speed the pivot up, slow it down. Let's go check the next pivot now. Don't forget to like and subscribe.